title of the first section today is Rate of Change. We'll find out how fast or how slow something changes. The first problem, we have a table with three numbers. The left side of the table is labeled number of classes. We have two classes, four classes, or six classes. And the right side of the table, hours of homework, we have three hours, seven hours, and eleven hours. To find the rate of change, what we can do is look at the right side of the table. We can pick any two numbers. For example, we can pick the first two numbers, 3 and 7. And we'll subtract the second number minus the first number, 7 minus 3. We'll make this a fraction. 7 minus 3 will be the numerator. And for the denominator, we'll do the same thing, but we'll look at the left side of the table. The two numbers that we picked were 7 and 3. The numbers that match up with that on the left side are 4 and 2. And same thing, we'll subtract the second number minus the first number, which would be 4 minus 2. Simplifying this fraction, 7 minus 3 would be 4. And 4 minus 2 would be 2. Equals 4 divided by 2 would give us our rate of change of 2 or you can write it as a fraction 2 over 1. 2 over 1 means for every 2 hours of homework we have 1 class or for every 1 class we have 2 hours of homework. Second question and last question for the section. Another table, the left side of the table is labeled number of hours. We have 10 hours, 15 hours, and 20 hours. And the right side of the table we have the paycheck amount which is $100, $150, and $200. For this again, rate of change, you can pick any two numbers on the right side of the table. Normally we can just choose the first two numbers. Again, we'll subtract these two numbers, the second number minus the first number. So 150 minus 100. And again, we'll make this a fraction. The two numbers we picked on the right side We'll pick those same two numbers on the left hand side. In this case it will be 15 and 10 and we'll subtract the second number minus the first number. 15 minus 10. Simplifying the fraction, 150 minus 100 would be 50 and divided by 15 minus 10 would be 5. Dividing the fraction out, 50 divided by 5 would be 10, or you can leave it 10 over 1. If you want to, you can also add the dollar sign, since 150 and 100 were dollars, so this would be $10 over 1, or your paycheck is $10 for every 1 hour, or for every 1 hour, your paycheck is $10. The title of the last section today is find the slope using a graph. This will be the same method, same method that we did to find the rate of change, except instead of a table, we'll use points on the graph. The definition of slope. Slope is rise over run. Rise is how many spots it will go up, or if it decreases, how many spots it goes down, and run is how many spots it goes to the right. The first graph that we'll look at is a xy-axis graph. When you have a line or equation, to find the slope, you can pick any two points on the line. The two points we'll use for this question will be the first point at 0, 0, and the second point, which is at 3, 2. To find the slope, you start at the left-hand point on the left-hand side. Rise would be how many spots it goes up, and run is how many spots it crosses. Starting at the left hand side, we'll go up two spots, so the rise would be two. And the run is how many spots across, which will be one, two, three. So we'll have the fraction two over three, 
So the slope would be 2 over 3. Second question and second graph. Again, we'll have two points. The first point will be at 0, 1. And the second point that we have will be at 3, negative 2. Again, anytime you have an equation or line, you can use any two points on the line to find the slope. In this case, we'll use these two points. Always starting on the left-hand side. In this case, instead of going up, we'll actually go down and to the right. So the rise on this one would be three spots down. If you go three spots down instead of three, the rise would be a negative three. Again, the run is how many spots to the right. This will be one, two, three spots over. So we'll have negative three over three, which if you divide that out would be negative one. So this line has a slope of negative one. And the last question for the section. Again, using the two points shown on the graph, we'll start at negative two, negative one. And the second point will be two, one. Again, slope is always a fraction, rise over run. Always start at the left-hand side of the graph. In this case, we'll go up and over to find our slope. From the left-hand side, we go up two spots. So the rise would be two. And the run is how many spots across, which would be one, two, three, and four. So the slope would be two over four, and we can reduce fractions when possible. Two over four, if you divide each of these by two, the slope would be one half. So the slope of the equation is one half.